Okay, welkom bij de Q&A uh, met Sion Osono, min 1, <laughs> uh, voor de film XT Hair Extensions die jullie waarschijnlijk net uh, gezien hebben. Um, onze vertaler vertaalt naar Engels. Um, naar goede gewoonte gaan we het interview dan ook volledig in het Engels voeren. Als er iemand is die een vertaler naar het Nederlands nodig heeft, mag hij nu zijn hand opsteken. Maar dat is inderdaad niet de gewoonte. Niet te min, als je van het Nederlands een vraag wil stellen, is dat natuurlijk geen probleem. Bonsoir, bienvenue au Q&A sur euh, le film Air Extension. Euh, nous avons avec nous euh, Sion Sono, le réalisateur du film. Si vous avez des questions, euh, bah, vous pourrez les poser après. Et puis si vous avez besoin d'une traduction en français, n'hésitez pas à nous le dire. For starters, uh, Sion San, uh, after Shinya Tsukamoto and Takasha Miki, you are now the third uh, cult uh, director from Japan who has been um, asked to make a uh, mainstream J horror movie. Uh, can you um, uh, tell us uh, how this came about? あ、あ。えー、まあ、ジェイホラーが日本ですごく人気が高いので、まあ、日本の会社が僕に作れとオーダーをした。そっか。あ、間違えた。間違えた。ミステイク。あ、元々そのエクステがをがホラーになると思った
とサウンドトラックは普通の音楽はいわゆるもう当たり前のホラー音楽をつけてもらってで僕がもう片方の音楽を担当したんですそれは「ヘアとかそういうユーモアの方は僕が担当しました作曲しました。Yeah, so like you said, there are two types of music in the film, and、um, the, 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 the regular soundtrack I、uh, had composed by, by people who usually do that sort of like horror movie music. So that is like your average, the, the common horror movie soundtrack.、Uh, and I took care of the, of the theme song, which is the funny part of the, sound, of the music、uh, of score that、uh, I took care of, and I composed it myself. But.、Um... I have read that, that you,、uh, you, you started when you were 17 as a poet, so you work on the poetry. And、uh, when, when I saw this movie,、um, I just thought that it, that it was just like a, a poem. So is that what you wanted to do, like a, a poetry or a movie? もうそれは、えー、とずっと詩を長くやってたせいで、うん、意識しなくてもそういうものになってしまうくせ癖,癖になって習慣になって。Well, actually, because I've, I've, I've been writing poetry for so long that I don't even,、uh, I'm not even aware of that. This is something that happens、uh, un- subconsciously. Like, I, it's not my intention to do so, it's just the way it turns out. Of course, what makes XT、um, somewhat exceptional in the genre is the existence of this parallel story、um, where you have a,、um, um, well, a sister really taking care of、um, a child that is being abused by her mother.、Uh, was it your intention to put two different kinds of horror next to each other? You know, a fictional horror from the J horror genre and a Real life horror. Um, to, ma, honto ni kowai no, ano, real story nan daro kedo, um, sore to, eh, to, fantastic na, unreal na horror, o, mazer koto ni yotte, um, むしろバランスの悪い面白さを目指したバランスのいいじゃなくて、えっと、悪いい意味ではバランスの悪くなると面白いかなと壊れ,壊れていくっていうかそういうのがあると。Yes, of course, there is this very big contrast between, like you say, the, the realistic、uh, horror part and the unrealistic horror part. And I thought rather than trying to make a very well balanced film, I thought it would be more interesting if I would just. Try to make it as unbalanced as possible and have like a very unbalanced uh, uh, combination of the two. This, <laughs> this unbalance is a recurring theme,、uh, I think.、Uh, I think it's fair to say, for instance, Suicide Club uh, is, um, is a movie with a great opening sequence. It has、uh, an original storyline and an original idea.、Um, But it also has、um, uh, a plot line that is a little bit, well, convoluted and unclear sometimes. It kind of,、um, you have to、uh, um, put in an effort sometimes as a viewer to reach the good bit- bits in Suicide Club. Would you agree? Exactly. どうしても普通に作るのがへそ曲がりっていうへそ曲がりって分かります普通に行けばいいのにどうしてもそう行きたくないだからそういうどうしてもバランスの悪い方にが好きなをやりたくなっちゃう。
Yeah, it's true. Uh, and but really, this is not something I do on purpose. It's somehow it always turns out this way. Uh, as I'm making the film, it turns out to be this sort of like unbalanced uh, result. Although I, I have the intention of making sort of more like a normal film, it always turns out this way. Well, we, we kind of like it better this way. So just just keep going. <laughs> Uh, since I was just on the, um, on the theme of uh, the child abuse, um, could you tell us something about uh, the actress who plays the mother of the daughter? I wasn't really sure if um, she was a bit overacting her part or if this was exactly the way you wanted her to play it. あれはリアルに日本ではああいう怖いお母さんがいると思うんで、うん、あのぐらいが自然だと思います。No, uh, I do believe that uh, there are uh, scary uh, mothers like that in Japan uh, quite a bit, so I don't think it's uh, it's over the top at all. I think it's quite realistic. Okay, that is scary. Est-ce qu'il y a des questions dans le public? Is there anyone in the public who wants to ask a question? Come on, Siona Sono is with us. <laughs> so, uh, it, it's, um, it's a studio movie uh, for Toy Company. So, is it difficult for you to work for a studio company? トイエカンパニーはあの古い人が牛耳ってるあの支配してるんで非常にえっと新しいことやるのにはものすごい発動な環境だったからすごく戦いが多かった no, of course, Toy is a very big and traditional company, so it's it's very hard uh, to do something radically new when you're working with them. So yeah, we did have a lot of fights. Uh, during the during the production. Uh最近だとバトルロワイヤルぐらいしか東映は成功してないんで、うん。あんまりいい映画を作れ作れてない状況にある。Especially since Toei, they haven't really got a, a real big hit ever since uh, they did Battle Royale, so uh, they haven't got a lot of made a lot of good movies recently. Were there any particular fights that you won or that you lost? Um, There's one big fight we had is that they told me to get rid of the hair song. They wanted me to, to cut the, the, my hair, my hair, my hair song from the movie. And that, that battle I won, of course. I, I, I'm sorry, your hair? Oh, the song. Ah, the song. The song. Ah, oh, oh, thank God. あれでもう少し長かったんだけど歌話のシーンとかあと山崎のシーンってもっとクレイジーなシーンがいっぱいあったんだけどかなりあれ削らされたんですね。Well, actually, I say I, I won that one, but I didn't win it entirely because originally in the film there were the the parts where he was singing the song "My Hair, My Hair" were were longer. And there were even more crazy scenes with this uh, perverted guy, this hentai guy. Uh, so they did cut some of the scenes, uh, but not, not, not all of the song. Yeah. Okay. And were there any battles that you really lost, where you say, this was not what I wanted? Yeah, well, I, I, I can't say anything concrete, but of course you have to give in to a certain extent. All, otherwise, they'll just pull the plug from the whole movie and there won't be any movie. So you have to compromise somehow. Okay. Um, I have a confession to make. Um, um, first of all, I would like to say I really liked XT. Um, but I only liked XT because... It's not a J-horror movie. 
And personally, I am really um, fed up here with J horror movie. Uh, do you feel the same way? J <laughs> horror uh, is boring. Yes. Yeah. Ex uh, we just have, we just have to find one more hole that something can crawl out of. That's that seems to be the only difference between the different movies. J horror is Yes, I am, I am completely amazed that they are still shooting these J-horror movies because how, what, what else can they do, like you say? Mm. Yes. Um, I think it has been given a kind of artificial life because of all the American remakes, maybe. I think, I think so, yeah, yes. Well, in that case, I would like to talk to you about a uh, Japanese tradition in horror that I find a lot more interesting than J-horror. It's called Ero Guru. And um, uh, you understand? Um, I, I'm talking about... Um, we've seen some Japanese movies come to the Biff, like a few years ago, Rampo Noir, which was like um, three short stories based on the works of um, Edogawa Rampo. Um, do you think there's any chance that we are going to see much more in, of that style of movie coming out of Japan in the future? Well, there, there may be producers picking up on that trend, but uh, I think it would be quite difficult to come up with a lot of interesting films uh, uh, in, that, in that particular genre. Why? Yes, why? <laughs> Well, I think basically because uh, most of the people who decide on these things are quite old uh, and old-fashioned and, uh, I mean, like pr producers, I mean. Uh, so, and they're not really listening to what, uh, what young directors and creative people are saying. So it's very hard to, to, push, to push your own ideas like that. Um, still, if you would make the, another, I mean, I think virtually all the movies you have made are in the genre, more or less, uh, would be quite suited to play here at the Biff Festival. Don't you think that the Zero Guru genre, it's also an old tradition, I mean, uh, the writer, uh, Rampo and some other of the writers who's those, on, who's these, on whose stories these movies are based, lived in the first half of the 20th century or, or a little bit later. So it's, they are actually more traditional than J-horror movies. Why would they not have any potential amongst these producers? I don't understand. エドガーランポは、今の日本からすると、ポイズン、毒がありすぎる、毒がありすぎて、強い、強すぎる、トゥーマッチだから、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
So you can say the same thing about uh, Edogawa Rampo's uh, uh, works. So that's why a lot of, most producers would be very reluctant to uh, base their film productions on that. But Rampo is a uh, celebrated author in Japan, or am I wrong about that? Yeah, but still, uh, most producers are not interested in that kind of stuff, regardless of whether he's a famous author or not. Okay. Okay, dernière question, uh, dernière opportunité pour le public de poser une question. <laughs> they are a bit shy tonight. <laughs> um, let me think. I'd like to ask uh, something about your previous movies. Um, we have shown um, two movies here at BIF by uh, you, uh, Suicide Club, a few years ago, and today, Ex the Hair Extensions. But since then, you have qu quite fast actually made more movies in between. Uh, could you tell us something about the movies that we missed? And I'm particularly interested in uh, the so-called sequel uh, to Suicide Club. Noriko's uh, Dinner Table and the Strange Circus. うん、このベルギーでうん、いつか上映できたらいいと思います。まあ、その特にストレンジサーカスはこの映画祭にぴったりな映画だと思うんで、うん、いつかできたらいいなと思う。Yeah, actually I hope that uh, Noriko's dinner table which is the not really the sequel but the prequel to uh, Suicide Club uh, uh, and the other film that I made in between Strange Circus I think they would fit perfectly here at the film festival so I hope uh, someday they'll be uh, they'll be screened here or somewhere else in Belgium Actually I hope we will have a retrospective <laughs> of your work someday here at BIF because I think it would be worth it We're, we're going to talk about that later, Freddy. Well, I'll do, I'll do my best uh, to make it happen myself. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm shooting more films this year as well. So, yeah, maybe, maybe ask him. Uh, he's, he's got a, a film... He's leaving for Norway tomorrow, so maybe he can explain what he's going to do in Norway tomorrow. Yes, that's, that's a good final question. What are you going to do for the future? Okay. Yes. I'm going to shoot a film that is very important uh, to me and is going to be all about heavy metal. Wow. <laughs> well, sorry, but you, that's, you have to tell us more now. producer <laughs> So um, I, I was uh, I had strict orders from the producer not to reveal any more than that. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, are there a lot of heavy metal fans in Japan? Uh, yes, but hardcore, uh, not not hardcore. I'm going to make a film about heavy metal. The film is black metal and death metal, and after. オールドスタイルのジューダスプリストのこれは昔からのヘビーメタルの3つの映画これはドラマです
So there's actually going to be three three films. Um, one is a, a black uh, black metal, one is a speed metal, and one is about the older uh, heavy metal, uh, like Judas Priest kind of heavy metal. Right. Yeah. Well, I will I will try to hear the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's, a, it's a tradition at the Biff to uh, sing a song, so if you would like, you can now sing a line from your favorite heavy metal song. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Uh, 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 no ega to rimas. Black metal in Kansh no ega or Norway de Toru Gyote. Well actually the 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 black metal film will be uh, will be about will be set in Norway. Okay. That in that case. Yeah. Alright. Actually North your Euro North Northern Europe has a strong metal uh, music scene. Uh and uh Sono Ato niwa SF or Hajimete no SF ega to me. And after that, I'm also going to shoot my first science fiction film. Oh, well, yeah. tell us everything you can tell us about yeah, that. Yeah, sorry, sorry, it's you. A little, a bit. For example, Cronenberg, no. Video drama, or. It's going to be a 21st century version of Cronenberg's video video drone. Wow, I think I just had an orgasm. That, that's, that's a perfect promise to end this Q&A on. Um, San, it was a great honor to meet you here at BIF and to have this interview here with you. And now I am definitely looking forward to your next movies. So we're going to make that retrospective happen or I'll have to strangle somebody. Thank you. Thank you, bye. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. We zijn handtekeningen aan deze tafel nu.